Hey there, this is a quick overview of the gravity adjustment tool in Brewer's tool belt. So you can see here, um, the general idea is that you've uh, finished sparging and you're starting your boil, um, or you're, if you're extract brewing, that's fine too, and you're at the beginning of the boil and you have a certain amount of sugar and a certain amount of wort and you want to see if at the end of your boil your gravity is going to be where you want it um, so that your uh, OG is is right on your beer so let's say uh, you so I'm I'm at the 60 minute boil and I've run off or I've added my uh, um, DME or LME um, and I'm, I'm currently at let's say 1052 you can do play-doh as well so and any of these you can switch in between um, and I'm currently let's say I'm currently at uh, seven and a half gallons at the end of my boil let's say I want to be at um, 1060 and um, you would have to know roughly what your evaporation rate is let's take a pretty standard 1.25 gallons per hour and uh, it's a 60 minute boil and I'm, I'm right at the beginning of the boil so one thing to note here is you could take a measurement halfway through so let's say you're at the start of the boil and um, you take a measurement and then you add some water and then you could be with 30 minutes left and do it another measurement so at any point as long as your metrics here are right you can do that the other thing is you can switch around on your fermentables so this would be if my gravity is low so let's say um, my target gravity is 1060 but at the current rate I'm gonna end up at 1055 so I need to add some additional sugar this fermentable is what sugar am I gonna add to boost my gravity so is it gonna be DME LME table sugar or dextrose or otherwise known as corn sugar um, so let's just leave it as, as DME and then you hit compute and you'll see down here um, my predicted gravity is 1062 and uh, 6.25 uh, final volume that is a little high right so I wanted 1060 I'm coming in at 1062 so this is telling me I either need to add a quarter gallon or a quart of water um, and then to get to the correct gravity um, and then that will get me to a new final volume of 6.5 gallons and, and that's important because you're then diluting so you would need to adjust uh, your bitterness um, or maybe some other additions um, and then also let's say we we have uh, an example here where um, we don't have enough so I'll just change this to 1070 and rerun it now I can see I'm, I'm below right so it's still 1062 I didn't change the other parameters but now I need to add so I can either add um, roughly 49 uh, grams of DME since that's what I picked or I have the option to boil down further so let's say I'm doing a Scottish ale or something where some kettle caramelization is is okay or maybe maybe good um, then this is saying well rather than adding fermentables you can instead of boiling for 60 more minutes I can boil for 91 more minutes the problem there is obviously you're gonna have um, less final volume and this will show me I have 5.6 gallons of final volume so you can make a decision do I want to add more fermentables um, or do I um, want to boil for longer so hopefully that's helpful and I hope you enjoy using Brewer's tool belt